Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Virginia Small Town. Uh, last video, I didn't really know what I was going to do for the next video, but then I kind of contemplated things a little bit, and I was like, you know what? I saw so many mud sunfish last night, and I was so close to catching every single one of them, but uh, I just I just couldn't. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to try and catch a mud sunfish and maybe a swamp fish. As you can see, this is the swamp fish honey hole, as that sign says. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can succeed in at least one of them, or a creek chub sucker, you know, or a swamp darter, or a salt sheep darter. Uh, I just saw a cool little turtle. Oh, well, there we go. Got him. He's so cool. Wow. I am so gonna enjoy this. That is such a cool little turtle. You can see all those yellow spots on its head. That's why they call it a spotted turtle. That thing is freaking awesome. He's got like a bunch of red on his belly, a bunch of red on his feet. That is so cool. <laughs> there you go, little buddy. All right. Go bring the swamp fish over here. We're gonna move on to the next spot now. This one's kinda kinda slow. Tons of pirate perch, but not much else. Alright, back in the spot from last night. The one that was actually kinda decent. Or the first one that was actually kinda decent. I'm gonna look around for anything. I found a swamp fish. I found a freaking swamp fish. But oh, it's still there, it's still there, it's still there. Going in super slow. Oh no! What? How? Oh my gosh, dude! I flicked its head out of the water. How the heck did it fall off the hook like that? Oh my gosh, dude. I just lifted this rock right here. I kid you not, three swamp fish started going crazy. There's so many swamp fish underneath there. Oh, I see one of their heads sticking out. Oh, I see the big one too. Okay, there might be hope once again. <laughs> okay. I put a bait in front of that swamp fish. We're gonna walk away for a little bit, and hopefully when we come back, it's gonna have that bait in its mouth, and I'm gonna land myself a new species. So last time I did this, I did it for like five, 10 minutes, and um, when I came back, that small fish had its bait, had the bait way down in its gullet, but somehow I still lost it. So we're gonna give this about five, 10 minutes, and you know what takes about five, 10 minutes? Among Us. I saw that orange. I saw all of that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Game. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, darn nothing. What? All right, so I went waiting around a lot of swamps from here, got some subway. Wait. And luckily I spilled tomato sauce on me, so now the animals in the forest will love me. And nothing really new showed up. Um, I did find a really cool, like, antique chair on the side of the road, so that was kind of neat. But yeah, I went to a ton of spots. I couldn't really find any, anything decent after that one, you know, swamp fish miss. So I guess I'll skip to the next night now, where we did find a couple rare species that we didn't find in the previous video. Let's see if this little sunfish wants to eat it here. Ooh, he, oh, he's looking for it. No, now he's running off. He spit it out. He's trying to eat the split shot. <laughs> Dude, this one's aggressive. Holy cow. There you go. Now we got it. What is this? Oh, it looks like a blue spotted sunfish. All right, so I do declare that this is a blue spotted sunfish. I counted about 16 to 17 circumpeduncle scales, which falls well out of the range of banded sunfish and well in the range of blue spotted sunfish. The very bottom of the spectrum for blue spotted, which is great. So I guess this is blue spotted. Just its colors are, you know, <laughs> very, very faint. This one's honestly like the most obvious blue spot I've caught yet out of here. Like you can see those spots on there pretty good. The spots underneath the eye instead of lines. Yeah, that's a blue spot. So I still have yet to catch a banded now. I also still have yet to catch a mud sunfish because that one ran off and it's still hiding. That's the most frustrating thing about the swamps here. You'll see a rare species. It'll be sitting there right in the shallows and you only have one chance to catch it, one opportunity. Uh, about three quarters of the time the fish just runs off and you never get a chance to catch it and uh, once that happens They'll never come back. <laughs> you just got to wait until um, you know the, the next night. So uh, yeah, it's very frustrating We're gonna try for those swamp fish here soon. Hopefully they're back at it <gasps> Ooh, Swamp fish swamp fish swamp fish. That's a swamp fish Okay, Fletcher just showed up. There's a tiny swamp fish right here. No! Ah! Come on, rotate, rotate. Oh, he's so aggressive. 
he wants it. He ate it. I'm gonna let him chew on it. Mm. Okay, I said I would, I didn't. Okay, he's swallowing it now. Move this little twig out of the way. <laughs> no, gosh, dang it, dude. <laughs> oh, he chewed the bait off the hook. Our swamp fish is still here, looking very aggressive. Gonna try and catch it. I mean, it's been the hook like three or four times now. I just cannot set the hook on it to save my life, dude. I don't know how they set the hook on these things. It's got it in his mouth right now. I don't know what to do. Maybe I just stare at it for like two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. It's moving its mouth a little. I don't know what it's doing. I'm gonna set the hook. I'm gonna set the hook. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Y'all see it right there. Y'all see it, it was stuck underneath the cement. My foot's in the water. I got it though. <laughs> oh, that's our swamp fish. Oh my gosh, dude, look at that thing, it's so cool. Holy cow. Gosh, my foot's all wet, but I think it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Um. I don't know where to store this guy while I go grab the photo tank. I'm gonna take a quick photo of it in my hand, then I'm gonna stick it back on the hook and run off to grab the photo tank. So there's our absolutely freaking epic swamp fish. I don't know what new species number it is, but you know, I I've lost two of them so far and I've always wondered like why they're so hard to lose. I've always thought that like their mouth is super hard, kind of like a snakehead, and that's why I'm losing them so much. But no, it turns out it's the exact opposite. Its mouth is super, super squishy. Like, this is the squishiest mouth on a fish I've ever held in my life. Like, complete opposite of, you know, snakehead. But, uh, oh, that thing is so cool. It's got all those stripes going down its side. Like, the back is really stripey as well. It's got really giant pectoral fins. I didn't realize that they had such large pectoral fins. That's crazy. It's anal fin and dorsal fin are kind of big, too. But, uh, yeah, apparently this species is the ancestor for all cave fish species. So I don't know how exactly the theories work out. There's one theory that, you know, the swamp fish could have also existed in the Mississippi, then gone extinct in the Mississippi when um, conditions got dry and like there's no more, you know, no more swamps for them to live in. And so the only things that remained were fishes that ventured down into the caves. And that's how the cave fish got their name. And in the Atlantic Slope, it stayed swampy and that's why the swamp fish are over here now. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a super cool fish though. It's still extant today. Oh, you can see all its scales on it. It did not look like it had scales, but it definitely has scales. It feels super slimy. You got some pink on it. And it's actually kind of colorful. I mean, it's a small one, but it's kind of colorful. Yeah, the one I saw last night, it was like, I mean, it was big. It was like that big. <laughs> its head is a little screwed up. I don't know if that's natural, but the one yesterday, the bigger one had really, really long whiskers to it. This one has like no whiskers and it's kind of mouth is, the upper jaw is kind of missing. I didn't do that. I don't think I did that, but and its eyes are really small too. They're not tiny, like I, I thought they'd be like smaller or just gone, but no, uh, they're just really small. There's some bigger swamp fish down there. Dude, I think I just kicked up the bottom and a bunch of swamp fish like swam over to go check it out. Cause I saw my light down there. I kid you not, there's like three or four swamp fish down there now, like some bigger ones too. So we took 10 million photos of this fish. We're gonna release it now. All right, little buddy, be gone. Okay, we're gonna try and catch this guy here. Hopefully it works. Even though he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. He just wants to be gone. Let's try this swamp let's try this swamp fish all the way up in the rapids here. I don't know why this thing is up here. This is all oh, oh it's swimming. Oh darn it. Where is it going? It's it's like migrating upstream. What the heck is it doing? <laughs> well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video here at Swampfish Land. True to its name, it produced a freaking swamp fish. Man, I was like, I was supposed to only stay here for two nights, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stay a third because every single night I stay here, I'm gonna like one step closer catching a swamp fish. And we finally caught a swamp fish. 
you know, a fish that I think I was thinking like, oh, I might have to make this into like a, you know, <laughs> a six video type species where I have like, you know, six, ten, however many videos going after it. Nope, we got tonight. Oh, but anyways, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next time.